Okay, so <clears throat> I picked up this eleven dollar, um, and you can get it cheaper. Uh, HDMI capture card because I've seen it on, on YouTube quite a few times and was quite blown away by how well it worked. Um, it's mostly made for cameras to turn, like, say, a DSLR into a webcam, but you can also use it to capture gameplay like I normally do. And it was an impulse buy range, so I was like, I had to try it. Uh, one thing about this thing is it has really low latency. Um, it's definitely it's higher than what you would get from the actual console itself. However, it's low enough that I was able to game on it, and I didn't really have that much of a problem. I did notice it just a little bit, but it still, to me, was playable. Like, basically, if you are capable of playing on xCloud without problems, the latency is lower than that. So, this was um, not bad for that. Um, <clears throat> thing is, uh, this one thing that's cool about this, as opposed to the capture cards that I bought ages ago for over a hundred bucks, is that other than the latency, this works with everything really for the most part, except for like iPads. But you can use it with Linux. Some Android phones will work. My phone, I plugged it into my phone, and there's a app called so it's for microscopes. I used it for a USB microscope that I have, and it pulls it up in that application, and you can record gameplay with your phone. Um, uh, there's no, like, there's only, the only need for power is the power comes through the USB, and then you have your HDMI, so you plug it into your PC or your phone or your possible Linux uh, computer, and apparently works with Mac as well. Anything that really accepts a webcam will work with this because this basically comes up as a webcam kind of device. And you can capture your gameplay and stream it um, straight from whatever, for the most part, that you have. Um, <laughs> for size comparison, I just want to show... This is my old HDP VR2, which apparently doesn't even fit on the, doesn't fit there, zoom out a bit. And then, that's that. And if I could find, which I can't, <laughs> a USB thumb drive. Oh, here's one. Here's a USB thumb drive. Oop, knocked into the thing there. That's a USB thumb drive right next to that. But this also folds out because it's not that's not the actual size. <laughs> so that's that. Um so like I said, I was actually able to game. Uh, in the preview window, I also plugged this into my Linux laptop, brought it up in OBS, and I was able to go full screen and uh, with my Switch and play games on the screen of my laptop using Linux. Um, the quality is very good for for the price you're paying. I mean, I wouldn't say it's as good as what I have. The more expensive stuff, but it's within a margin of blah. It's like, I don't know, it's just like there's a little bit of compression artifact, there's little artifacts, but most people would be perfectly fine with it. Nobody's probably going to notice it or say anything. And, um, yeah, it's, it's worth all the, um, all the, you know, all the stuff that you get from this. From being able, to, from using this, like, like I said, the low latency, um, probably less cables. Unless you're gonna, you know, I do recommend that you get the one with the pass through. There's one with pass through HDMI pass through for gaming. 
But if you really are really on a tight budget or something, this will work. And there are some other things. It actually uh, bypasses HDCP. Um, so you can record things that normally you can't record with the bigger capture cards. Um, I tested that with the YouTube app on the Switch. And it recorded the YouTube app. Um, so that worked. And... Uh, there are so many benefits to this uh, other than just the price. The fact that it's 11 bucks, it does 1080, it'll record 1080 30, um, 720p 60, and it takes an input resolution and frame rate of 4K 30, which while impressive, I don't see the point much. Maybe there is one, but I wouldn't sacrifice 30 frames per second just for 4K. Uh, but then you can input 1080 60 uh, as well as a lot of other lower resolutions. Um, so there's that. Um, the construction's okay. It's it's a metal, it's a thin, it's like a thin aluminum housing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's a fairly cool device, especially if you. Maybe you just want to get into YouTube. You can have multiple of these. You can have one of these. I have another one coming home through with the uh, the pass through. I was thinking about eventually I would start using this for uh, you know a, a HDMI input on my laptop, um, and then I would get the one with the pass through and use that for a capture card. Um, but the quality is very good. It's perfect for streaming. Uh, perfectly fine. You, you don't have any problem with that. You can plug multiple ones of them in. Um, so you can have one maybe for a camera and the other for a capture card for gameplay. Um, you know, uh, you can even use it to like stream, say, your Nintendo Switch to like a virtual reality headset and play, uh, you know, in a virtual reality theater or something. Um, so yeah, you could use it with like an Oculus Go or something like that, which I plan on doing that. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a, there are a lot of things that I was playing around with this, uh, out of the box, the colors were a little over the top, a little crazy. So you can actually just go and change that. It's by default, it's, uh, the saturation is way too high. The, uh, contrast is um i think way too high and the brightness is really low and i went in and i adjusted that and put it at more of a flat um made it more of a flat uh profile there and then uh you know you can like you using obs or Streamlabs or whatever you can basically go and add any filters you want to it so that's kind of cool that you can basically put filters on your gameplay <laughs> you can add like weird filters and things to your games like your switch or whatever um you can clean up the uh output of the switch try to um maybe you can make your games look a little sharper if they're blurry or whatever um so and like i said there's i don't know i think i mentioned this but i was uh i would put out in more depth i was sitting on my couch playing actually playing a first person shooter it didn't seem to be a problem for me even though i did notice a little latency i didn't really have any issues other than me sucking which is normal for me in first person shooters but i was playing a first person shooter and i also had a youtube video up on the screen picture in picture and i was watching a youtube video totally distracted so that even though i you know on top of the fact that i suck i'm distracted by a youtube video and so, yeah, I was able to do that. I was able to watch YouTube videos. So you could basically, if you needed some help, you could pull up a web browser because obviously the Switch doesn't have one, but your computer does. Um, you know, so that was that was quite cool and all that for, you know, 11 bucks. Um, <laughs> and then, like I said, there's the one with the pass-through. That one I got, it, it was 20 bucks with tax and shipping and everything. Uh, so that one's on its way, but it's gonna it's gonna be a while. So, yeah, 
So I'm going to show some gameplay of this thing. I think I'll do a couple more videos because there's I know there's some things I'm trying to think of that are just not popping in my head. Uh, I did do an unboxing of this, but I, I kind of got rid of it because I had a lot of misinfo in that unboxing after using it. I realized a lot of the stuff I said was wrong, and I didn't want to post that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Here's some gameplay. Another gate. Another gate. <laughs> you know what to do. Stay back. You have to open. It's not safe. Don't listen to them. Listen, listen. Don't open it. You can do it. To don't. break the seal, align the ravens with the mark of Valraven. Ravens. Line them up. He said to line them up. Some like truth become guilt in search of penance. Others like 
cinema. The badger guys. Those who make it back are forever changed. She can get up now. What's happening? She can get up now. How can she get up? Magic. Magic. Dark magic. A trick. Raven. Raven. Tricking her. Raven. How can she get up? Bait. It's him. Dark magic draws her closer. It's not him. He's helping her. It's not him. It's a trick. She's doing it on her own. He's not tricking her. It's magic. It's an illusion. Just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. There's always another route. Find a way, go round, find your own path. 